Hello YouTube, what is up? Connor Brooks here with another review for you. Today we are going to be doing the first of the seven Thursday reviews. And today we're going to be doing the Atlas GP4D locomotive RFNP, Richmond, Fredericksburg, and Potomac. So let's get started right now. So here we are at my desk area where I'm doing stuff. And here's the box that it comes with. Uh, I picked it up for uh, $194.99 on Nicholas Smith Trains. I bought the last one, so sorry, but it's okay. Um, it is equipped with ESU Log Sound, and so what you do is you, it's kind of like a sleeve. You pull it up. Then you got the Atlas Masterline Locomotives. Nice gold box with the ESU logo. The locomotive is not in here. But I'll just show you what you get on the inside. Uh, the locomotive is in a um, it's in a sleeve and it's screwed into the bottom. So you have to unscrew the locomotive, and under all that you get your what is this? This is limit. This is a warranty information. You get your exploded parts diagram. So. Oh tells you all the parts. Uh, this one has the non-dynamic brake hatch. Um, and you get some, and then you get your uh, quick start guide here, which I'm gonna use to talk to you about sounds. And then you get your registry to register the warranty. Then you get extra parts that, and I, I have no idea what this is, but there's like the cab uh, window shades and whatnot like that. So, uh, let's go over to the layout and um, look at the locomotive. Alright, let me get my chair here. And there she is in all her glory. Now, as you can see there, I had to glue that because it wasn't really staying in. But, you know, for the most part, hold on, let me just get my quick start guide here. For the most part, it, um... You know, they, they stay they stay well now. Um, so what you have here, and I also had to uh, glue this on here because it was not working out. But you've got the uh, crew steps, I guess you could call it. And the detail in here is actually really nice. You can see the etchings in there. Um, handrails, they're, they're kind of cheap, actually. They're not cheap, they're, uh, they're flimsy. They're flimsy, but it's okay. Um, these... They work. If you kind of blow on them, they kind of work, and that's cool. And then here is the, um, I don't know what you call it, but that can go down. This this thing right there, that can move down. And then, so if we keep moving along, hold on, if I can move all my, I can move my controller over. It'll be easier, now we can sit. So if we continue with the um, detail, uh, there's the front bell, fuel tank, good truck detail, there are cab figures in the inside, there's the horn, uh, I think this is a, uh... alright phone, come on, there we go, there's the brake, and then if you go to the front, there's the headlight and lit number boards, and go to the side, I had to glue that in, I had to take the shell off which I'll get to why in just a second. Um, RFNP logo, and then it's the uh, same on the back here. Pretty much just good detail. Hold on. Good detail. Um, Atlas couplers with their, you know, their own coupler. Um, as you can see, that is the, looks like the real steps is their see-through and whatnot. And we'll get to sounds in just a minute. But I, uh, I want to go over something which kind of, kind of, I was not happy with. So, this was the speaker that was inside. And it's a nice speaker. See, this is where the headlight normally goes. After about two hours of operation, it started crackling. And it crackled. It really only crackled on the, um, on the horn. And then it started crackling with the sounds and everything. 
with every sound. So I took this shell off, which by the way, is not fun to take off at all. It was really hard. And I found that the speaker had the same plug-in as a speaker that I had bought for this, which doesn't work anymore. So I took the speaker out, put it in here, and the speaker is housed back here. And now it sounds like a charm. It works wonderful. Had no problems with it. Um, that's about it for detail. So uh, let's get to operation. So this is a, like I said, ESU low sound equipped. And what happens is, is you don't have to push F8. You turn, you uh, put the, um, you plug it in, or apply track power, and it immediately comes on. That was my steam locomotive. So F0 is the headlight. Oh, oops. Put on the right function. Mm -hmm. There we go. There's the headlight. And so let's go after the quick start guide here and see what we got. Um, I've only done the uh, horn and the uh, bell, so I don't actually know what we got. Let's see, F0 is the headlight, F1 is the bell. Hold on. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, guys. There we go, F1 is the bell. I really like this bell. It is quite crisp. F2 is the horn. And ESU looks and it's really responsive, so there's no short horn. You just shortly tap. I'll show you. So, yeah, that's the uh, horn. Let's see, F3 is, uh, we'll do a, a gate crossing sequence in a minute. Uh, a coupler, coupler clank. And I guess that's the, uh, if you push it again, that's it coming apart. F4 is the uh, diesel fans. I do not think the fans actually turn even if you uh, put the power up. Let's see. No. They don't. They do. Okay. So F4. Let's see. F5 is the dynamic brake. Only active. Let's see. F5. Oh, wait. This one doesn't have a dynamic brake. I'm sorry. Um, F6 is operational. Optional ditch lights. Uh, we don't have ditch lights. F7 is um, switching mode, so I'll show you if you put it up really fast. So let's see. So now I'm going to switch into switching mode. Maybe. So that's out of switching mode. And that's in switching mode. See, it slows it down. It has the... And you don't have as much of a... Um, Actually, while we're here, you can see the uh, rear headlight, too. So I'll bring it back here. And I'll... I think it's... Oh. Okay, now we're good. I just had to make sure it was out of switching mode. Maybe it isn't. Oh, now it's out. Okay, now it now it's see. Now it's out of switching mode. Got to be careful there. So now we are gonna see. Takes a lot longer to speed up. 
and it's got some break and electro momentum, I think, whatever. Alright, let's see. Um, F8 is mute, and then F9 is manual notching. I don't know how to use that, but you've kind of already heard it, but we'll go up. It's really cool, you kind of, it kind of builds up, you hear, and then it, the brakes release, then it starts to move, and then there's also brakes, so we'll listen to that again. And then, um, we'll go up a little bit more. And now we'll go back, and we'll uh, couple up to the train that I've got set up. Maybe. That'll bring it to the straight, there we go. And then I can show you a grade crossing, and then we'll be done with the review. I'll give my final thoughts, and we'll be good to go. Alright, it's coupled. It's coupled. Sorry. Oh, and by the way, when you move it, the... Uh, headlight brightens as you can tell so now it's in switching mode just so you can see it, and it now it's out of switching mode. So there you have it. And then we'll do the shutdown. That was terrible. Here, hold on, let me try that again. Sorry guys, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but you, you need to hear it so you can get the full review. Alright. There it goes. And there you go. Alrighty guys, thank you for uh, watching my video. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, I really, I enjoy it. And since it's Richmond, Fredericksburg, and Potomac, which is cool because I live in Richmond, or just outside of it, and I go to Ashland a lot, and the RFMP used to run on the, um, right on the uh, CSX main line. And so any Atlas GP40 is good. Um, the sound is good quality. Uh, the only problem I had was that speaker, and that could have been just with mine. I don't know. But, um, again, thank you for watching, and have a great day.